The first YouTube video ever uploaded to the Supercars of London YouTube channel back in 2008 was a Murcielago LP640. In August 2018, I bought my dream car off the success and growth of my YouTube channel and business. A true dream come true. And when I bought that car, it was a goal of mine to restore it back to its factory setting. I wanted to create the best example so that I could look at it and be proud of the project. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, here we are down at Barkaways at the end of January. Behind me, we've got Zenith Vehicle Management's Transporter because today we are collecting my Murcielago from Barkaways, bringing it back to SB Race Engineering so that it can go through its full rebuild before coming back down here, having its final polish and detail. This is a huge video and is going to span probably the next three weeks of filming as I follow this trailer all the way back to SB Race Engineering, go to Eurospares to pick up all of the genuine land Lamborghini parts that are going to be used to rebuild my Murcielago and then it comes back here gets detailed this is the first car I've ever painted and it is a huge job on my dream Lamborghini ladies and gentlemen welcome to supercars of London the perfect time to bring a vlog to the YouTube channel this is going to be one hell of a video It's back! Not sure whether Barry is as excited as I am because he has got a little bit of work to do. There are doors missing, a side skirt missing, but there are a lot of small little nuts and bolts that Barry is writing down on his pen and paper so that he can get a list together and then I'm going to take that to Eurospares so that we can start rebuilding this bad boy. Barry, how's it looking? List or just very nice job. But Good. Yeah, the list is getting big. So, talk to me a little bit about some of the things that are needed on this car. Door I'll... seals, new roof seal, we're going to take it out. Just new nuts and bolts, because obviously some are corroded. And obviously the high, high spec of the paint job, you want to make sure it looks like new. Yeah. Lo it looks like new, but also fit back together like new. Yeah. That's important, right? Because otherwise, when you take the car apart and put it back together with replacement nuts and bolts that might not necessarily be genuine Lamborghini parts, it's going to start creaking and... Yeah, they just won't look right. Well, it is looking awesome. Barry's going around with his pen and paper, just writing notes down on the parts that we right need. Right, please, that Paul Wallace. <laughs> Paul Wallace <is> pain. <laughs> and also, the wheels are going to get refurbished as well, so the wheels are going to get sent We're off. Gold. From SB. Gold on the wheels. <laughs> no, no, no. Do not write down gold on the wheels. Gold wheels. <laughs> gold wheels. And like any project car, and to be honest, like any project ever, deadlines were extended, budgets were exceeded, and the job always takes unexpected turns. 
like for example Christmas coming into play and not being able to transport the car up to SB Race Engineering. The last saga within the paint project was there are many parts that we had to order from Lamborghini Direct. Eurospares provided a hell of a lot of parts for the Murcielago so that SB could rebuild it, but we still had to wait over three weeks for parts to be shipped directly from the Lamborghini factory. But now I can proudly say that the doors are on, the wheels have been refurbed and are on the car as well, and we are just waiting for wing mirrors and a few other body panels for it to be finished. I am so excited to get this car back to Barkaways for the most important job ever, the polish, the detail and the protection of the world's greatest paint job ever seen on a Mercia Largo. I am self-proclaiming that as my own car's title, the best painted and one of the best examples of a Mercia Largo LP640.